In this video cheat sheet, we're going to be configuring a router for MPLS forwarding. We're going to start off with baseline show commands, show IP Ceph summary to see if Ceph is running on the router by default. Then we are going to enable a debug command, debug IP Ceph table to watch how things unfold when we configure a router for MPLS forwarding. And then we're going to finish up with some verification show commands of show IP Ceph summary and show IP Ceph. Let's look at the network. We are going to be enabling MPLS forwarding and configuring Ceph on router 2. To enable MPLS forwarding on a router, you must have Ceph enabled. I will show you how to do just that in case for some reason Ceph is not enabled on your router. I will enter my show command show IP Ceph summary on router 2. We have some information here and as you can see everything has zeros next to it. There will be some output right in the parentheses if there was some entries in the table. We have no leaves. There is nothing going on here as far as Ceph goes. I am going to enable debugging on router 2 to get its perspective as the lab progresses. Now I am going to enable Ceph and you do that with the global command IPCEF. As you can see, our Ceph table from our debug output is getting all kinds of information now. We're getting events from different prefixes throughout the network, so we know that Ceph is receiving this information, and then it's putting the Ceph information into the Ceph table. I'm going to turn debugging off. Staying on router 2, I'm going to enter show IP Ceph summary. If you remember before, we had no routes. There were no leaves and there was nothing in the table. Now we have routes and leaves and entries in the table. We know that Ceph is running from that show command and also from all the debug output that we have received. I'm going to enter show IP Ceph to look at the Ceph table. There are all the prefixes that we received via the routing protocol OSPF and then Ceph takes that and builds its Ceph table with a prefix and a next hop and what interface it goes out. In this video cheat sheet we configured a router for MPLS forwarding. We started off with the baseline show command show IP Ceph summary to see if Ceph is running on the router by default. Then we enabled a debug command, debug IP Ceph table to watch how things unfold when we configured a router for MPLS forwarding. And then we finished up with some verification show command, show IP Ceph summary, and show IP Ceph. 